tried to come up with a different way to say that question, and um, that's not what I came up with. So I'm just going to show you a sampling of lesions that may unfairly cause a yearling to be discounted at the sale. And most knowledgeable vets will know that the lesions that I'm going to show you really aren't going to affect the horse that much. But if you talk to somebody that's not familiar with the yearling, weanling transition to racehorse, or somebody that's maybe just looked at a report in the back ring or in the barn, they may not be familiar with the significance or insignificance of some of these things I'm going to show you. Now that you're all bone pathologists, you should have no problem with this. So the first one going to show you is a plantar eminence fracture. And not to insult your intelligence, but it's hard to see radiographs in here, so I put a big fat arrow on there to show you what I'm talking about. This is an oblique view of a fetlock for those of you not familiar with looking at these. And this is the area we're looking at. It's the back of the fetlock. This is P1 or the long pastern bone, and this is the fracture. And these may get discounted by some people because they're big and they're pretty scary looking, but if there's no articular component or there's no piece in the joint there, these heal. They take a long time, but they heal without surgery and the horses go on and do just fine. And this particular horse with this big fracture here actually went on to win at Keeneland and Churchill. So good prognosis. The next one, um, you've seen this uh, before with Dr. Bramlage. Um, this is a lateral trochlear ridge OCD of the stifle. And we're looking at an oblique view of the stifle. This is the dreaded medial femoral condyle we're not going to talk about, the patella. And this is the lateral trochlear ridge that Dr. Bramlage just showed you. This is a very similar lesion to the one he just showed you. Also, we have the desk hands there. And it used to be that any stifle lesion um, in a yearling was cause for people to get off them in a sale, especially if they were one like this with a fragment there and shedding debris, just like those um, uh, slides that Dr. Bramlett showed too. They're likely fat. Um, but we now know that if you surgically debride these and clean them up, these horses have a really good racing prognosis. So this should no longer be a reason to discount a horse at the sale. Unfortunately, sometimes they are unfairly. The next one's probably going to be a little bit harder to see. Um, whoops, that's just another variation of it. Both these horses are in training now. The next one's a little bit harder to see, uh, but this is a knee, a flexed lateral of the right knee in a yearling, and we're looking at the intermediate carpal bone. This one on the right is obviously a little bit blown up. I don't know if you can see. There's a little sharp pointy bit there. Some people call it sharp. Some people call it spur. And we're really critical about knees and yearlings, but the thing to take home from this is not all knee findings are equally bad. This bone here, this intermediate carpal bone, is on the upper joint on the outside of the knee. It's a much more forgiving area in an athlete. And also these little sharpnesses um, oftentimes mature away as the horse gets bigger and grows. Um, this horse is not in training because it's 11 months old. I just shot these this week. So. Uh, the next one also might be hard to see. Um, you might see on a report a trauma to the palmar or plantar uh, area of the sesamoid. And again, the arrow there shows, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit darker there. It looks kind of traumatized, if you will. These will put some people off yearlings. They may be unfairly discounted because, well, one trauma sounds bad, but the, year, uh, the radiographs can look pretty ugly there. But this part of the bone, <clears throat> the sesamoid bone, is encased in a band of soft tissue called the annular ligament. And changes there don't really bother the horse. So this is, this is not a reason to, to get off a horse. I think I have one more of those. This is just another variation of that. Again, the same area, different uh, sesamoid. There's actually a little fragment there. People always want to know, oh, do I have to take that out? No, you wouldn't take it out. It's in that annular ligament. Last one we're going to talk about is a nice big, whoa, easy one to see. Apparently, I got fancy here. Pastern lucencies. Often people will get off horses like that. And um, I'll just put them both up. The one on the left, you can see big pastern lucency or cyst there. And these certainly can be bad news, but most of them actually do heal. This is the horse as a yearling. I'm sorry for you guys, I'm standing in the middle of it. And this is a horse as a racehorse, and you can see it's almost all gone. And this horse also successfully raced. Um, so many of those heal. So um, in conclusion, because Starley's giving me the time, um, don't panic when you get radiographed horse reports. It may not be as bad as you think. Thank you. Thank you.